Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. ScooterATVSales.com is bringing you a how to mount your scooter tire on your wheel, you guys. Very imp important to learn this, you guys. Some of you guys don't have the financial wherewithal or the budget to take it to your motorcycle shop or scooter shop locally to have your flat or a brand new tire mounted on your wheel. So we're gonna show you how to do this today manually now you're gonna to have to get some sweat in here it's a bit sweat equity you guys but we're gonna show you the proper tools to use as well now these here are called tire spoons you guys this one here and then you got a smaller version as well as this you guys you can buy these at Harbor Freight very inexpensively or order them on Amazon you guys always suggest if you own a two-wheel vehicle Particularly a scooter motorcycle you guys and you choose to uh, do your own tire mounting well it's always good to own one of these you don't want to use screwdrivers you guys because it could uh, ruin the uh, bead as well as the lip of the tire puncture the tire as well so purchase a spoon kit you guys either on Amazon or go down to Harbor Freight to do that so we got Tyson he's gonna show you how to do this again this is for those of you that want to stay at home get your uh, spoon kit and uh, mount or remount your tires this is the 3.5 by 10 this is typically that fits on most of all your chinese scooters you guys so go ahead tyson Alrighty. well first thing you want to do is you're going to want to remove the valve cord to let all the air out of the tire if there is any still in there so you use this uh use this stay a valve cord removal tool and you pull this out and that will let all the air out of the tire. Next you need to do is you need to break the bead. Sometimes you can just give it a good push like that. Other times you'll have to take something along these lines and kind of wedge it in there and pry it down. It's the easiest if you lube everything up first. This is just uh, soapy water. That just helps the tire slide around better. So. If you're having trouble getting the bead loose, you can just go ahead and spray it down first and that will help break it free. And we start off with just taking your spoon here, wedging it in between the, uh, in, you know, in back of the tire bead here, and slipping it in, uh, 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 slip it in between the tire bead and the bead on the wheel. And you just pry it out. You want to Make sure you push the tire down so that way it can seat in the groove of the rim so it has room to move. And then you just work your way around. Just kind of prying as you go. about far enough and then you can just grab the tire slip it up like this now if you just need to replace your valve stem this is about as far as you need to go because you can get to everything you need behind uh, 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 behind the tire here but if you actually need to change the whole tire I usually like to just get the uh, make sure that this bead is sitting in this groove on the wheel and then just put it out Now to replace the uh, valve stem on here, what you usually do is just pull out a knife, cut off the back of the uh, valve core here, or valve stem. Now if it's already damaged enough, you won't have to worry about this because it'll just fall right out. And then we just take this, pull it out, we have our new valve stem here. You want to put some kind of lubricant on here. You can use dish soap, you can use Vaseline, you can use grease, whatever you have on hand. Something that will just lube it up a little bit so it'll slip through the hole a little bit easier. Then you just grab this, pull it through. You can use, there's a, there is a fancy tool for this, but I usually just use the dikes because they're always available and 
it usually seemed to work just fine. So you just kind of gently grab the pipe tube and pry it through. They do tend to be kind of snug. That's how they stay in place. And there it goes. And you have your new uh, valve set in place. Now when it, goes to, when it comes time to mount the tire back on, what you might want to do is first off, you want to check to make sure, you know, check if it's a directional tire, look at the rotation. When you have the side of the wheel that you, had, that you put the lug nut on to hold it in place, you want to make sure that the arrow is pointing in the counterclockwise direction. You want to lube it up. Just kind of push it in place here a little bit while you're holding it. Just take your tire spoon again and just start praying it back onto the wheel. goes. Now for the final bead, it's basically the same same story. Make sure to push the tire down to the tire bead down so it's down towards the center of the wheel. And then just work your way around. Just praying it back on. Sometimes it helps to go ahead and leave one tool actually in place and then go to the other side. And put a little more lube on. is kind of a trial and error situation. There we go. And we have the tire back on. Okay, you guys, so we just demonstrated how to do a tire swap on your uh, Chinese uh, scooter. The 3.5 by 10, it would be the same if it was a larger wheel or tire as well. Now Tyson's putting back the, uh, the core, valve stem core, to tighten that up. Then you fill it up with air. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It's pretty simple, as you can see. It's a little bit of sweat equity, but then there you have it, you guys. So hope all is well. ScooterATVSales.com. Find us on Instagram at Scooter ATV Sales, or if you need some universal parts, at ScooterATVParts.com as well. Take care.